Francis left Bahrain on Sunday after a four day visit that ended at the Gulf's oldest Catholic church, Sacred Heart in Manama. That's where the Holy Father met with some of the country's Catholic minority who said the construction of this church gave them strength, but that there are still many challenges. I have personally witnessed the trials faced by many migrants who left their families back home. Francis had some advice for them, which he also shared during mass at Bahrain's National Stadium, attended by some 30,000 people. He told a crowd of mostly migrant workers from nearby countries to always be messengers of love and peace, even when feeling attacked or marginalized. Habrá fricciones, momentos de tensión, habrá conflictos, visiones distintas, pero quien sigue al principio de la paz Debe buscar siempre la paz. Peace was the recurring theme. One of the main reasons for the Pope's visit to Bahrain was to promote interreligious dialogue. Francis called on students at the Sacred Heart School who are of 29 nationalities and part of different cultures and religions to be champions of fraternity. While the pontiff referred to Bahrain as a model of coexistence, during his visit, he didn't shy away from some of the contentious social issues in the country. He spoke out against the death penalty, urging Bahrain authorities to renounce it and ensure basic human rights are guaranteed for all citizens, including criminals. That drew attention to tensions between the Sunni Muslim monarchy and Shiite opposition that accused the government of overseeing human rights abuses. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.